Try to get the entry on the B side. Ooh, and Nitro was looking to do something cheeky, but Relic sniffs it out and Steel's not able to escape either. A huge couple of kills to open up the B site, but look at the spike man. Exactly, exactly. Everybody's still hanging out towards the A side. I mean, it all came down to those two players of Relics and also Mitch. If they didn't get those two kills, you would have had support. But now you get those early frags, you're pushing towards the site, you're pulling the rotation, easy plant on a five on three. And Mitch still has that barrier orb. He ends up tossing that one out to try and block things from the back of this site. Although Heaven not necessarily cleared just yet. Ethan on the flank, but Zeta is there waiting, watching, and finding kills. Now it's down to the last two, and Cloud9 Blue at the very least on this pistol. We're looking to make this one flawless. Ooh, flawless, and look at the amount of damage was done. Technically, if the hut stop broke... Ethan going to put up the wall there. This is something that you have to be wary about. Is he playing on top of it? Is he playing behind it? Hunter Thieves happen. Very tricky with this wall in particular, but it's going to get shot down immediately. Ethan's able to trade kill back on the round. So 4v4, we will go. Oh, another one to come on through. Relics to fall. That smokes off the board once more. The boy's going to trade it back. They're running the gun too strong with the Spectres for a couple of kills. Now 100 Thieves once more. On the back foot, they've got Google. heaps more HP. Big no, flight. they do not. It's all up to Asuna who oh, gets shot. So pretty decent to start things off, uh, but at least it gives an open site. You got a free plant. You even got spawn control. It's still not going to be looking good for 100 Ds, but the damage has been done at the beginning. And they do buy out at Resurrection. They force it in this eco round as Mitch picks up another onto Nitro. Boy, he's watching the flank, and now it's all up to steal. Vandal in hand, not gonna mount and play it quick. Take the fight right to him on this B site. Recon Bolt going outside the map. Unfortunately, probably not gonna get too much. This boy goes up top. Steel, how do you answer back? It's Nitro to help him out, but Zeta trades it. One for one we go. Now another one sat down by the operator. Still somehow alive on this side. Finds another kill to close it. And that's that's what you want from Leaf, right? Underrated so far for Cloud9 Blue. Big entry. And now it even cancels out the uh, operator. Or should I say, yeah, the operator and also the lockdown's about to come out. But they can still spray to take it down. Right. Yeah, the lockdown, uh, as soon as Steel put it down, unfortunately he gets hit on the flank as the spike looks to get planted. Nico tries to push him off with the Hunter's Fury. Now, not quite the situation you want to be in, but we'll see if Zeta can live up. And uh, maybe Hiko can spare some of the clutch gene here in this one. Ethan can be the first to fall. Spike now to be planted in a recon bowl, giving away the information. So they're just going to run him down. A nice resurrection to get Asuna back online. And he closes out the round. Yeah. Playing a bit more posture forward as he can be pushed away. Boys tries to dash away, but still gets sat down. And Asuna with the showstopper will find another. And now this B push completely stunted by another kill on Mitch and 100 Thieves. They've seemed to got the read on this Cloud9 team. And that was just a small change for that, um, for the composition or the defense positioning for 100 Thieves, right? You have Steel opting towards the A side and said his utility is there. If there was somebody that's going to battle towards the A side, but let's check that in a little bit. Zeta gets two great openings. We thought it was over, but it's not over yet for Cloud9. Yeah, and Zeta, uh, maybe not in the, the way of the clutch, but still looking pretty good when it comes to that Sova diff. Top of the leaderboard when it comes to the frags. Now 46 HP isn't a whole lot to write home about as Relics looks to get that spike down. Hiko going to toss out That's that huge. recon bolt and maybe sniffs out Zeta there. It's down to the last now. Relics needs to find a 1v3 clutch and quite a bit of utility use. Still a drone available, a shock dart for Hiko should they choose to use it. Hiko is actually just a swing at the spot. And focusing everybody on the right side, so playing in the back of the site under heaven side is very huge uh, as a good position on we the defense. Switching up not only where they're playing, but who's got the operator. It's Nitro this time around. Found the first kill. Finds another after the resurrection. Leap is going deep into the back lines. Picks it up with the showstopper, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the squad falling down around him. Poise trying to grab whatever he could. And there was kills here. And you match that with a couple of weapons. The rest of the squad have an armor. Oh, and the first one not going to go their way. Poise able to trade it back. And Mitch picks one's up with the Frenzy. So there's two rifles down. Now picked Probably up and Poise it. might cross. Yeah. But yeah, quite possibly. Toss that one on over. Mitch trying to get the plan. Unfortunately, low HP. So needs to be wary. And Poise continues to go to work with the Bladestorm. And Relics is there to trade him out. The buddy system online. But who better in a 1v3 than Hiko? Low HP on two players. He is smoked out, unfortunately. And the wall is there. 
Gonna break it down for just a bit, but it's another quick hit towards A. Ethan just missing out on the swing. Leaf gonna find the first, looking for more running and gunning, but it's Relics instead to pick it up. Zeta inside the dark cover. Trying to create more chaos on this A site. They cut it down to the last two, and things are looking very favorable here for Cloud9 Blue. The spike goes down. The players will not. 4v2 still remains, making a 4v1, and Hiko wasn't good for it in the last. Doesn't have a whole lot here in this as he's already used that recon bolt and four players. <laughs> That's gonna be all she wrote. Yeah, it's already picked off, and now it's gonna be an even harder retake for 100 these. Ooh, Asuna, though, getting healed up. Making it count. There's your return on investment for using that heal orb. He's gonna find another here. Cloud9 Blue on the back foot, and Hiko looking to delay things for a moment. No, it's Asuna. Like, gonna trade out another one, but still getting cut down to the last two. 2v2 two two situation right now. Cloud9 fighting for the lion's share of the half. 7 to 5 could be the best, oh! that's all they can get, and he go right in his wrongs, not able to find the clutch, but quite possibly being the player they need. He needs a 3k to match Poise here on the way out, oh Tailwind to get away, 20 rounds in the magazine, low HP on Poise, and Hiko finally not really in a great spot to do it. The rest of the squad, however, bringing up the rear towards B-Long. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, no, he's good for no. it, at least. So he did his job. It's still a one-minute advantage right now for 100 Thieves, but here comes his push towards B. And now they're starting to get mowed down. The spike does go through, but Nitro picking up a couple of kills in the round, looking to stun things. Zeta once more back to the clutch scenario, not able to find it. Van, six to six at the half. What a game we've got on our hands. Great way to start things off, right? Winning that pistol was huge for Cloud9 Blue to start that early run, possibly the recon guard as well that was thrown out. So he's going to have to fall back, and already we've taken the A site for 100 Thieves. Completely free here for the plant and the flank. No way in, no way out. It is a one for one overall, but Poise incredibly far away from that sage means no heal. And Asuna gonna make sure he doesn't find anything just like Relics did in the last round. Looking like a flawless, not gonna be that. And 100 Thieves is definitely uh, one of the key elements right now for them to try to get these successful rounds. Oh, man, and Asuna just continues to punish this squad, the attacking side, really, where he starts to flourish. A 3k in the last, now a 2k here with Cloud9 on rifles. Relic's gonna toss out the paranoia just to try and slow things down, and Poise on the flank, able to find two and dash away. The last one standing now for this Cloud9 squad, but the spike is down. Does Steel have the information? Doesn't yep. have the angle. Yes, he does. The Actually, this is going to be as a game later on. I think it's going to be very explosive. We are already very close to that. Ooh, Nitro going to fall there. Mitch not looking away. Perfect timing. Find out the oh ultimate. My. Unfortunately, going to go wide on that shot. And there it is. Asuna just playing Quake in the back lines with the blast One pack with the Vandal. But Zeta continues to work. Now, Ethan, very aggressive early. Oh. He is going to get spotted out by the drone. That could have been it, unfortunately. It catches people off guard a lot of times here towards the uh, towards the spawn side. Although finding a kill. Cloud9 Blue still working against the clock. Leaf going to use that showstopper. Able to find the kill, a resurrection to come on no. through. And Asuna actually friendly fire onto Hiko. It's all starting to come crumbling down. And that res was just too far away. They stretched themselves thin. Oh, shit. The diffuse is right. I can only imagine what's going through the heads that nothing seems to be working. Now they find the rifles and there it is. Imposter down. Lockdown gonna come on through. Nothing really to stop that. So Steel just trying to open up space and he does it by trading a kill. The spike plant should follow. We should find ourselves in a 4v4 retake. Oh. Yeah, especially with the uh, wall, the lockdown that wasn't blown up by Asuna. It's an easier take right now for 100 Thieves, and they have better positioning on a pulse plan. We have to know how we're going to attack back for Steel and Blue. No more. Yeah, it's Steel just playing the off angles. Catching him with the bow out and able to find yeah, another right. three kills on the round, and it's all up to run. He killed because I feel that Lee should have kept fighting him still. But uh, then again, it's Steel taking the upper hand. Yeah, Steel actually looking to get really aggressive there. Find some damage on the boys. It is going to be healed on up. Asuna goes up on top of the wall. Finds one kill before getting sat down. And this is game one life on the line for Cloud9 Blue. Match point for 100 Thieves. 
And they're in a pretty good spot to get it done. Hiko and Nitro, the last one standing. Both resurrections used. Leaping to use those blast packs to try and get on the flank. And it's all up to Hiko inside the dark cover. Aiden to the back. And again, it hits the railing a bit too low. Relic's able to salvage the situation. Leaf right behind him. Cutting it down to just Hiko once more in a 1v4. And you just can't count him out. Oh, he's going to find the last shot. Leaning towards that area, but I don't think he's going to have that much support going in yet. Unless it's going to be Zeta with potentially like a, a recon dart or something. But you're looking at it so far. Luckily, 400 Thieves, it is going to be an eco. So you might not need to fight for this orb. Get a couple of kills. Especially rotating from that snowman position. They're looking to plant the spike up top inside a oh tube. There's Asuna picking up the first of paint shells to try and close things out. And again, you still have Zeta on very low HP. So that Sova needs to be careful before looking to peek again. Still rifles in hand. Sheriffs still in hand for this 100 Thieves squad. And what a way to close out the map this would be. The first kill going to come on through. It's poised with the operator. Recon totally. looking to get the information. And they're just buying so much time. They're corralled. They can't really push up. Mid's now down to 5 HP once more. The Sheriffs are starting to come online. We're at a 2v3, but low HP Nitro. now. Nitro just needs to buy time. He's got it. He's got the angle. That's it. Cloud9 Blue, they're not able to find the spike. And oh. that's how 100 Thieves. That way, the site taken basically for free here. So we've got ourselves a nice little 5v5, a retake now in the books. Nice little wall there. Ethan going to go up top and find the first kill. So lane or speedway now not free unless Poise does exactly that quite possibly could look to hop over the top. Nitro going to get the door closed on him and the bodies are starting to fall here. Steel and Hiko going to work. 2v2 Nitro still trying to bring up the rear. Hiko with that recon. Bolt going to find some information. Both of them hop on down. You can hear the footsteps in the water. It was, you know, Spectres and one Bulldog. You don't have that rifle to, to kind of help your squad. And there it is. Oh my goodness. Steel. And Silly, you called it. He gets some value out of the Marshall. Yeah, and it wasn't mid side, but it was a side. But I was still expecting that poise versus steel battle no matter what. So clean shot. Now because of that, you saw Mitch push towards B main because you have down for just a moment as the dark cover is going to be traded back and forth. Unfortunately, for Cloud9, they're down to their last three remaining as they all get mowed down towards mid relics. Now the only one standing in a 1v3 and a winnable round. No armor on a few, low armor here on Ethan. So a headshot from this Phantom. Left. Easily fine. You just need the one taps here. You just need the timing as a spike, spike is going to be planted. One dark cover available. Spots the shoulder of one. Blazewall going to go up to stunt things for just a moment. And relics like, in the first rifle round for Cloud9 Blue. Things are looking pretty grim. Quite possibly looks for a save. Maybe some exits. The economy for sure hurting for this squad. Whew, especially with that turret that got spotted. I think this is game over for Relics. He's going to be able to take one. But he is that dark. It's taken and down. I'll let you know. One quite possibly playing inside of this B main area. Hiko picks up the first on to poise. Ethan takes quite a bit of damage. The pistol is starting to get stuff done. It's the shock starts to finish it out. A lockdown coming on through from Steel. Hampers things for a moment for Cloud9 Blue. But they could have themselves a couple of rifles. We'll see what they can get done Woo! with it now as they all back away relics narrowly making it out. Full HP in a Bucky. A dream. I don't know if they've got the clutch here in the 2v3. Keep them inside the blast radius. If you don't get the spike down, I think that's good enough right now for C9 Blue and you're looking for that, right? Even if they lose this round, they're definitely going to be able to buy into the next, so they don't mind losing this rifle into this situation. So that's exactly what's going to happen. They're holding it back. You're trying to keep it alive here from Mitch's side. And is Nitro going to survive? He should be able to poise. Right around the or, uh, right around the corner of the angle where you don't have... Actually, you do have a... Oh, wow. Okay, that's that's a nice pick. They tried to pinch it towards his B side. Poise is going to be up by himself with the Blade Storm now inside B. Yeah, Leaf trying to back him up. Showstopper over towards the back of that CT area, that defender sided area. The Blade's going to go through. Curveball not going to get any values. They're all starting to get cut down. A nice 3K for Poise as Leaf going to I think you heard them both drop down. Poise still has the daggers in hand. Nitro oh, no. able to cut him down. 12 HP. Nitro on 69. As he looks to shoulder peak, he can just play the time. He catches Leaf. That spike planted. So now with the ultimates, it could be what they need to find that thrifty victory. Of course, it was heroics out towards A main. That got it done the first time. Not able to get it done in this one. A one for two for Asuna. As that economy continues to finish. They're going to try to walk out instead. He's going to get this kill. 
Picks up one, picks up two, and Relics again will pop a baby lockdown to push everybody off the side there. And they get a free one at that. Zeta trying to slow things down for just a moment. The spike has been planted, and it's actually going to be the lockdown coming on through from Mitch to try and clear things out. But it's just a massacre on the site before they could escape. It was only Hiko to get away. Now in a 1v4, they're trying to ping the spike for him, but he just does. It spawn as Asuna. A little bit of blue on blue there. Some friendly fire as he takes a shot over towards Steel. Poi's gonna go up top, and he's gonna finish what Asuna started. It's a two for two across the board. Relics, Nitro, Ethan. All now finding frags in this round. Ethan gonna find another. And in a 3v2, 100 Thieves looking to find themselves back in the win column. The retake to come on through. One blast pack available. As Leaf looks to clear out everything. A nice resurrection on the site. Gonna buy another player here. 400 Thieves in the blaze wall. Oh, no. The rooftops has been the counter of the showstoppers in both of these maps. Now, Cloud9 fans, they've got a whole lot of credits to work with. Now, one less player to worry about. So, I was gonna say, maybe they just send it and it does look like that is gonna be the call. But as Zeta pushes on through, he's running out of time. Picks one up with the shock guards. Looks to find go towards the back he is going to be sat down and hunter thieves go back to their winning way going through these growing pains are now slowly starting to come out of them right we're looking at hunter thieves we're looking at cloud nine as nitro this is the from the shadows to get into the back of sight and unfortunately yeah just stuck there he ends up falling and the rest of the squad not able to back him up we talk about the jets and the blast packs but who's gonna follow the uh the omen all there pretty much it was a great all towards that back uh, he even got a kill for it, right? So he was good to weaken up that site, but uh, it was great utilities being thrown for Cloud9 Blue to prevent the rest of the guys to funnel out towards that B main. So it still makes it a three on two. It's still going to be very winnable, though. You got the veterans right now in the in the server for hundred thieves. It's Steel and Hiko together. You see the abilities, the utilities being split first. He's even got the ult out. He wants to put the the plant right after, and you're just in great positions now. And even that that uh, Nano Swarm was great. Remaining. Oh, there Kiko's go. gonna be traded back and forth though. Hiko's still alive and Hiko to side of the last one pushing on. He makes it look so good. And the Sheriff's looking pretty good for Cloud9 to start things off as they take down Nitro. Smoke's taken off the board and the barrier orb already used. So not a whole lot to deny vision in this retake. Dawson looks to use those hot hands. Hunter Shiri gonna come on through, looking to clear out through A main. Leaf finds another kill and there it is with the Nano Swarms. Mitch is able to pick one up. The utility starting to come all line in full force. And Ethan on top of the wall, standing tall. Needs to find the shots. They're trying oh. to pick up the spike. They're able to do it. It's going to take an ace. It's going to take a close range. That kills, but overall, maybe not able to do as many of those entry kills as we wanted. But as we say that, there's a showstopper to get one. There it is. And a paranoia to try and get him out. Unfortunately, doesn't have any charges left of the blast pack. And that kill, it's answered back immediately and could even be res. But Relic's trying to make sure that that's not the case. They go back and forth, but somehow, some way, 100 Thieves still managed to come out on top. A couple players a little worse for wear, so Mitch and Poise would look to get something done, but it's going to be a 4v2 retake in the last round of the half. And everybody's still fo oh, I was going to say, everybody's still focusing on planning towards the A side. I thought Mitch was going to get a huge backstab on the flank from Gelato, but he opts to go towards tree side instead, and that's going to be even more dangerous. I don't know if that, I think that wall looks broken there towards that doorway. If not, it would have been up. You got an alarm butt and Nano Swarm, so you really have to count down on Poise for this retake. Yeah, hopefully Poise can find literally anything to kick things off. As soon as that wall gets shot down, I mean, all the utilities starting to come through. The Hunter's Fury, Ethan hopping up. He <laughs> And Pistol gonna be huge in this one. Poise gonna find the first kill. Look to back off. Low HP is Steel. Able to trade one back, but two for one. As we go on to the A site. Eco bringing up the rear. Already tossed out the recon bolt for a bit of information. Shock darts trying to get some chip damage down, but the spike will be planted either way. And a frenzy in the hands. If you're hearing that frenzy, you're, you're probably a little scared for Cloud9 Blue. Yeah, it's Nitro that's alive with that. They still have a wall on top of that too. So Ethan, if he stays alive into this one, but it's a close range battle against Relics, who spots two. The heal force to be used there. Coming out of the smoke, Ethan is still able to pick up two and Hiko backs up Nitro to stay alive. Now it's all up to Relics. He's completely pinched. Stings a bit, but it makes the round a bit more winnable. And more importantly, Steel taking off the board means no utility that they have to worry about from that killjoy as they look to push on through. Hiko 
Finds one. Nitro able to find another. Oh, the Spectre's boy. coming online, and Ethan just multi-frag after. Just gonna push right now towards this mid side. Yeah, so incredibly aggressive. Leaf finds one. Not expecting another, though, and Hiko is able to trade it back. Relic's right behind him, though, and the B site has since been opened up. I spoke too soon. I counted him out, and I cast her. Cursed a hundred thieves. Ethan... Looking to push onto the site, needs to find some extra damage with 10 HP. He needs to find a way out and steal Phantom. In uh, as well as for Hiko. So I think control of these orbs right now is going to be very important, or just a push on mid like that. Yeah, control over Catwalk seems to be the name of the game here. 400 Thieves, and that last round was the first round we saw a team lose the bonus. 100 Thieves kind of breaking the script there. Zolup, Mitch, the last one alive. Low HP is going to be spotted out, taken down. Already here so much, and we're seeing just how important mid control is. Leaf going to find the first with some utility. We'll see what they can follow up with. Austin is spraying them down as they push through mid, but it's a two for two across the board. The lockdown to buy some space out towards mid, and right now, Ascent is their oyster for Cloud9. Unfortunately, if they head towards A, they are going to be met by Nitro. Usually goes good for a few. Not going to go good for any here. Leaf takes him down, and Cloud9 Blue continue to battle. Rez. Revealing area. You got an elite all out here. You got an elite all out here. Right now, yeah, Pussy Blue. It. Herculean effort right here. Leaf with 11 HP. Showstopper. They're all three up towards heaven. He's going to bide his time for a moment. Tosses it out. Takes down. Skill Rogues finds another. It's all up to Hiko, but he can't clutch this time around. And push this one to match point. They have the lockdown. They have the running back. Should they choose to use it? Hunter Shuri going to be used. Hiko finds one. Asuna with a frenzy finds another. Now it's still going to be Steel with the Bucky inside sight. Ooh, no, it's Zeta who actually finds it. The bait and switch gonna go his way. The Bucky from downtown, they just have to buy time. Spike has to get planted. He has to stick it right here and right now. He's got 22 HP and he- Have to try to figure something out. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. Mitch is still towards B side. He's like, I'm making it towards mid soon. We'll try to pinch into the A site. And that's why Zeta was, was holding and still winning towards that A main site. He just wanted to make sure that his teammate was close uh, just time and not press for that information. Let them come towards you. Oh. And one of the the very few times we've seen aggression towards A main, it works huge for this hundred thieves squad. It was the blast packs to get on into the site, but Leaf gets taken down, and it's right here, right now. My it's gosh. Ethan with 